welcome back to my channel for another video. Happy 2020 to you. I know it's quite a ways into January at this point, but it's still just a little bit into 2021. So I hope you're having a great start to the new year or at least an okay start to the new year. Today I'm here to share with you all of my 2021 journals and planners. This is a very long video. This is also going to be uh, maybe a little confusing for some of you as you go along. I filmed this video for Patreon. So over on Patreon, I post one, sometimes two videos a week, depending on what tier you're in. But bi-weekly, I do a video for all of my patrons, flipping through and showing you all of my journals and my planners and what I've been working on, as well as like the supplies I've been using. And we just have a good chat and I do flip throughs. Um, so I was doing this for them and even without my extra like talking about supplies or anything it ended up being I think it's almost an hour long so I'm not gonna refilm it for you guys I'm just gonna give you what I gave them there are references in there to different tiers and rewards that you're getting I may also say here on patreon a couple times just know that's why the video might sound a little funny it's cuz it's actually uh, part of a patreon video that I did put up but I'm sharing it with you guys because I don't want to sit here for another hour and share all the same information with you that just seems silly. So if you want to know more about Patreon or have any questions, it's down in the description box below. Don't feel pressured. It just means it's somewhere where you can get extra content from me if that's your thing. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Patreon peeps and welcome back for another video. Happy New Year to those of you I have not seen yet. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for joining me for another year. I'm so excited about the possibilities and things we have planned. So yeah, I'm excited that you're going to be here for that. I'm going to walk you through my the rest of my December and kind of what it looked like since we had our last journal updates. And then, of course, I'm going to show you all of my new journals and planners that I'm using at the start of this year. I'm really excited to show those to you guys. I've broken into, I think, all of them now, which is great. I have a huge stack here and I just keep adding to it. I'm excited to show you what everything I got going on. This video is going to be a little bit um, of a repeat kind of of what you're going to see tomorrow over on YouTube. I'm going to be sharing my 2021 setups and plans and things. So if you <laughs> are going to watch that video, just know it'll be some crossover, but there'll be some things in here in the journal updates for you guys that the people uh, on the YouTube video tomorrow will not see. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you click on tomorrow's video and you're like, this is like the same thing. Um, that's, that's why that's happening. As I think about the things I'm going to share with you today, I keep thinking of more journals and piling them on here. So as you can probably guess, this video is going to be very long today. So I suggest you grab yourself a cup of tea. Um, I'm drinking some peppermint at the moment. And yeah, let's, let's go down to the table and look at all of the things. As we go along here, I'm going to try to show you the journals and planners that I had in 2020 that I'm still keeping in 2021. They've just changed format. And then I'll show you kind of all of the new ones that I have added to <laughs> to my lineup. So, to, uh, first this is a planner. This is my Patreon creative business, all things creatively free to be me, all the stuff in my Etsy shop, um, bullet journal. So, this is more for archiving, uh, things that I created, principles I created, things I came out with, uh, during the year in terms of things that I put in my Etsy store, ideas and requests that you guys have, cheat sheets for my sticker making, all kinds of stuff like that that all goes in here. I used a Clever Fox bullet journal last year, which I really did enjoy. Um, I used almost all of it, so just a quick flip through. So that's what that is. I'm continuing this 
planner this year, but I am switching into this. Uh, as you can see, I got a label maker. I've been having a lot of fun with that. So this is a standard size insert. I really wanted to be able to go back to some things in the standard size. It's one of my favorites. So I thought it would be fun to do my Patreon planner in that. That way you can change out the covers and, you know, have fun with it. So this is a insert from Michaels. It's one of those uh, really cheap planner inserts. And I'm not using it like a planner. Um, I'm just, yeah, I don't really have anything in here yet. But I just write over it and use it like regular pages. So there's that. I can't really show you much because uh, I don't want to give anything away. But um, I just have some notes like brand fonts. I like to put in things like this is my top nine for Instagram. Things I need to restock. Uh, sizing cheat sheets. I have a whole like sizing thing. Uh, journal sizes. These are the tabs that I was using for this here. These are stickers that you can get in my Etsy shop. An old printable that I want to revamp at some point. Um... <laughs> requests and ideas for stickers and videos and stuff. So this is that for 2021. So um, staying in my lineup, just of course, switching notebooks. Next we have my sketchbook. So this has been my sketchbook since, oh goodness, either the beginning of 2019 or the ending of 2018, I believe is when I started this. Um, I know this because I didn't even live um, I've lived two more places since then. So yeah, this was, it was fun. This is a giant Arteza sketchbook. I can't even fit it all in the frame for you guys, but I just really experimented with this. You'll see lots of swatches. Um, this was a by bun lunar class that I did. I did this tutorial on YouTube so you can see that. This is a sticker in my shop. More swatches. These are also stickers in my shop. More stickers. More stickers. <laughs> More stickers. So you can see a theme here. This is a background that I did for a printable. Um, swatches. Some of these moons ended up being stickers. Uh, I was practicing kind of different techniques for drawing leaves and flowers and stuff from people that I like. So I tested out by buns kind of style for leaves and Courtney Diaz had this uh, ro easy rose tutorial. So I was working on that. Um, these were some original sketches of some emojis that I didn't like. So I was going to try to do a cover up job and just never did. Uh, these were sketches for my Magical Cards stickers. I was working out potion bottles. The Chakra stickers that I made are kind of over here. So just lots of ideas and swatches. <laughs> More swatches. Uh, mushrooms. These are also stickers. Uh, I was working on when I rebranded and made my new logo. Um, more swatches, more sketches of stickers, a uh, little ghost that I was working on. This was for another by bun class, lyrical. Uh, you'll definitely recognize these. These are all stickers. As you can see, most of the sketches that I make, I do make into stickers. And I also don't, uh, there's several pages in here, but I'm not... I'm done with this. I'm ready for a fresh start. I'm not going to finish this. There are a few pages left, but um, I'll have to remember to take out some of the bits in here. But yeah, even though I have some pages left, I'm definitely putting this to, to bed. I'm just kind of done with this. I want a more like workable format and I want to make new sketch memories, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's, that's it. These, uh, stickers, this is a sticker in my shop. The mermaid tail that you saw, this one's holographic. I have the skull, this watermelon. I'm currently out of these moon face stickers, but I'm hoping to restock. 
the scales, my I Am Creatively Free sticker. This is by Brie from Documented Journey, and then that's a Art Snacks uh, sticker there. So I thought I'd just let you guys know that. So moving on, continuing with the standard size theme, this is my sketchbook for 2021. This is a sticker by, by Bun. As you guys can see, um, she's pretty much my main inspiration for sketching most of the time. Like I said, I don't really sketch. I'm not a big drawer. I much more prefer to do collage. Uh, but I do have to sketch and uh, draw things, obviously, in order to have designs to put in my shop. So this is a standard size mixed media insert. I think I got this at Michael's <laughs> and I was just working on some, I want to do some like vitamin pill type drawings. So this is kind of a work in progress, uh, just a pattern sketched out and I'll probably pull the ones that I like from this and turn them into stickers. So there's a little sneak peek at that, uh, if that works out like I hope. So that's my sketchbook for this year. Uh, right now it's not in a cover, but I can always put it in one if I want. Next, since we're talking about like creative journals and stuff, this it was my creative journal insert for December. Let me move this out of the way real quick. Uh, this is my creative journal. You guys see these from me. Mainly this is what you see the most from me, especially here on uh, Patreon. Uh, just my junk journal. I made this one out of my scrap drawer. I do have some things to finish in it, but for the most part, I think it's just where it's going to stay. Uh, very kind of, you know, loose and collage -y. My usual photo collage style. There's some things that I still need to put in here. Uh, whether I'll do that or not, I'm not sure, considering I still have to finish things from my last journal as well. I have a bunch of Christmas cards in here. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that was my December insert. Now, for probably the biggest change in this entire lineup, uh, I'm going to be using this for my creative journal. You guys know, and if you don't know, in case you're new um, and you just came from YouTube, I usually do my creative journal in some type of uh, insert that I make. I make it out of scrapbook papers and uh, Midori MD paper. I'll put things like pocket pages in there and tuck spots. Uh, sometimes I sew pockets. I do lots of tip-ins. So, this is kind of what they usually look like. Vellum. As you can see, I haven't done a lot of writing this year, but there's one of those pockets. But yeah, so that's usually what my creative insert looks like. This is super chunky. This is only like three months. Um, so we're going to see how this works. But uh, you, those of you in the challenge group in the vid squad have already heard me ramble about this. But for those that aren't in there, I really want to talk about this. So uh, feel free to skip over this part if, you, if you've already heard me say this. But I decided this year that I would start my creative journal in a journal that makes me nervous. Um, I've gotten very comfortable in the way that I journal. And there's nothing wrong with that. But as someone who wants to continue to improve uh, as an artist and in my career as a content creator um, and to continue inspiring you guys, right, to get out of your comfort zone and do things that uh, scare you and live more creatively free, which is like my thing, right? Um, yeah, I knew I needed to push myself. So I chose this. This is a Dino Wakely Media uh, Journal. Here's the here's the little tag for it. It's a multi-surface journal for mixed media. Of course, I'm going to use it in a very non-traditional way, but 
Uh, there's the dimensions. It's bigger than I usually use. It's 7.25 by 10 is what the pages are. And there's four kinds of pages in here. I have had this journal since she came out with this. It's been sitting on my shelf since... Um, it's definitely been sitting on my shelf since I lived with my grandma and my aunt, which the last time I lived there was in 2018 and I probably got this before then. So this is probably like three or four years of sitting on my shelf and I found it too intimidating. So this is the year. The reason this journal is so intimidating is it has surfaces that I don't usually work with. It has a cotton rag paper. So this is super absorbent recycled uh, cotton watercolor paper basically. It has this craft paper which is like you know super peachy but then it has burlap pages and it has canvas pages if I can find one there's one and of course these are fabric so they're definitely not going to react in the same way that I would usually use papers in my journal uh, this is also going to get very very bulky I do plan on maybe taking some pages out. I can't remove whole signatures like I would usually do because of how the book is bound. So I am going to kind of cut some pages out further down to keep the signatures intact but cut down on bulk. I'm going to wait to do that until I absolutely need to though. So yeah, I broke in this journal. You can see the video in the bid squad. But uh, this is... This is what it, my first kind of play in it looked like. I did all kinds of different medium tests. I tested glue and inks and paints and watercolor. I tested markers, jelly rolls, Tombow, gouache, fountain pens, inks, distress oxides, scribble sticks, you name it, I tested it in here. And then I worked on this page. There we go. Now you guys can see the whole thing. So I worked on this page. I wrote a little like hello introduction note to the journal just to like kind of break the ice. Uh, and then I added some watercolor and some photos that I had from the first along with stickers and little pieces that I'd been hoarding. I'd been hoarding this butterfly forever as well as this star here. Um, and yeah, I just kind of left it like that for a while after I added some stickers. Uh, this piece was sent to me by Tammy Brackett, so I added that in there. I've stapled a tag on here with this piece that's recipe that I printed off of Instagram that's been floating around. I just have some random magazine images, which I added some stickers and quotes to. Uh, this is an off cut of some stickers that I'm working on for uh, the release later this month. Uh, a cutie sticker <laughs> from an Clementine. And then uh, my aunt got me a new ring, which I am loving. This is Labradorite. Uh, so this was the emblem that was on the box. So yeah. Um, oh, and I also washi taped in this. This is from Taylor over at Little Creative Life. That was a printable on her Patreon. So yeah, this this is going to be my creative journal for the year. This is what I've done so far. Um, I've created graphics for the monthly challenge here on Patreon. Uh, so I need to put that in here somewhere. But this, yeah, I'm excited to see where this takes me. And to push myself to just start journaling in a new way. And hopefully using more of my... Uh, supplies again I feel like I played a lot with my uh, paint and stuff when I first started my uh, journey here sharing with you guys and I feel like I just kind of I don't play with stuff as much as I used to so I'm hoping that this um, will make me do that because one all the pages are blank <laughs> So I kind of have to, uh, and two, not all mediums work nicely on here. Uh, markers don't really, which I got really used to using. So I'm very excited to dive into this. A little tea break here to uh, wet my whistle.
I feel like I get really used to being by myself and not talking and then I do these videos which I love talking to you but my throat gets like all weird because it's like wait a minute <laughs> you've been talking non-stop what is going on so next we have my bullet journal so this is my bullet journal that I used last year this was a it's so weird to say last year now I'm actually going to take this out because I want to reuse these in my current journal, but this is a A57C's Crossfield with 480 pages of Tomoe River paper in it. Uh, this was my back cover. I collaged the outside and I collaged the inside cover, probably my favorite. So there's that. I used this from August to December, so I'm just, oh, I should probably move these stickers over. I still need to check out some of these people. There's some accounting notes on there, but anyway, uh, this is how my December turned out. I feel like I haven't been in here in forever. Um, oh yeah, goals. So, <laughs> this is my December pages. I had the Take 5 Art Challenge, which I posted uh, on YouTube if you want to see the process for that. But this is how my December looked. Some goals that I still need to transfer into my goal planner, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, transactions, gift lists, a sticker a day, which I kind of stopped doing. Um, I still have to go back and migrate things in here and kind of see that I checked everything off that I was supposed to check off. This is some personal journaling. My weeklies, I was trying to get used to the format in my new Hobonichi. This was when I spilled chai tea all over my notebook. Uh, the last week in December. And then just lots of dailies. I put in a picture of snow here and added some stickers of all of the Sticky Club um, packs that I've gotten so far. And yeah, that, that was it for December. Of course, I'm continuing with my bullet journal. Uh, maybe I'll do a flip through of the old one at some point, but yeah, so this is my new bullet journal. It is the Hobonichi Cousin of Vec. It's in this uh, cover that I got from Hobonichi as well. Um, I have to say the cover's growing on me a little bit, but I had a really, really hard time like bonding with this at first because the feel of, I can't even like rub it. The feel of this cover is not okay. <laughs> It's like, I can't even describe it. It's like somebody took cardboard and stitched a very like thin, scratchy backpack meets raincoat <laughs> fabric over it. It's not nice. It's not soft. Um, I always thought looking at uh, people's covers that they were like a pleather um, material, but and that is, it is not, maybe it's just the cover I have, but it's just, I can't handle the texture. Um, and then, I don't know, the plastic doesn't feel very like cozy, but I love the cover itself, like the print on it. So I'm going to try to deal with it. <laughs> But yeah, it, this is not pleather. It's like a very, can you hear that? It's just, ugh. okay, moving on. <laughs> this is my setup. I'm still kind of playing with the pockets. I have some of my holographic vinyl stickers, some die cuts in here. Uh, this is a tarot card that I pulled this morning. Uh, just other little random stickers in the take five. I have my date stickers that I'm currently using. These are from uh, my shop, of course. 
And then I just have a folder, an empty folder, and a ruler back here. I just want to show you my favorite thing about this so far is the tabs. I finally splurged on myself and got the like glitter holographic tabs from Avery. Uh, and they're really, I mean, they're like six bucks, <laughs> but they just make me so happy and I can't believe I waited so long to do it. So this is my setup of my new Hobonichi cousin uh, intro page. Here I have just like a tab. It's, it's said to Ching, but now I put this um, pug with all this like money on it because it just looks so cute. I uh, got that in a sticky club subscription. Uh, so this, this is my uh, abundance tracker. So every day that I make money, whether it's 99 cents or 100 bucks, it goes in here uh, to keep track of that. And I did start it in December. This is obviously 2022 December, but I'm never going to use that. So I just used it for 2020 and went by the dates and ignored the days of the week. This is my word for the year. This is a printable that you can get here on Patreon as well as in my shop. Uh, and then a peek at some of the stickers coming this month. So I like, with my tabs, I like to flip this way and have that open to it. So this is my abundance tracker. This is my, I ended up with two tabs for this one. I don't know why, but you know, there it is. Uh, so this is my workout slash movement log here. Um, I need to write in yesterday, but just tracking the ways that I move my body. I'm really trying to get back into uh, doing that as most people do in the new year. So um, I'm working on it as part of like a more consistent um, daily routine that includes time for myself and my hobbies outside of work. So um, moving my body should be one of those things. So there's that. I just did some watercolor down here uh, and put a quote that I felt inspired me to kind of move my body that wasn't in like a weight loss type vein. So because that's what like what a lot of the motivation seems to be around. So it says when your body surrenders to movement your soul remembers to dance by Gabrielle Roth and I just found that on Pinterest or something. Then we have my good stuff. So this is so what some people would consider a gratitude log, but it's just like a high point uh, from each day where I can look back on it and feel really happy. So again, another quote, happiness cannot be traveled to, owned, earned, worn, or consumed. Happiness is the spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace, and gratitude by Denise Watley, Waitley, I don't know. But yeah, so that's my good things log. I'll probably add some color here at some point, but for now, that's what that looks like. Then I filled in December because I often like to flip back and see when things happened, especially with my work schedule. Like when was the last time I cleaned for Laura? So um, not her specifically, but that's like a an example. So I did fill out all of that. Uh, I also started my planner in this week, even though technically it didn't start until the first. So you'll see that. So this is me just working out. I want things set up, you, playing with my new stickers. Um, I added the six months of month tabs that are in here. This is my January. So I have things I'm waiting on in the mail. I used my printable version of the kit for these up here. Uh, that's why they're kind of sticking up a little bit because I just used a glue stick. So this is me planning out um, my month and I already have things that I need to add in here. Uh, but I put my main three goals for January up here. Um, I really have not finished doing my goals, but I'm trying to be like, you know, it's goals that are ongoing for the whole year. So like I shouldn't have to do them all at the beginning of the year, right? So my three main focuses for January are to do my moon phase rituals, to move my butt in some way at least 20 times, like 20 days out of the 31, and to develop a PM and AM routine for myself. And those three all kind of work together within those, um, each other. So 
that's that. And then we just have, you know, the next few months here that I have tabbed out. Uh, just put uh, some of my regular clients on there and then the hearts denote when Chris is home from work. Uh, cause he has a rotating schedule, so it's not the same every week. And then this was my first weekly in here. I started in here on the 28th and I'll show you how I did that, but I just moved right in and started setting things up, uh, using some stickers. I have my to-do list down here at the bottom and then just like appointments and more specific events up here. Uh, just the way I was using it in my December. This is my week tab that I moved. Woo. This is this week, um, which I feel like I still haven't even properly planned, even though we're halfway through the week, but there it is, trying to take advantage of my stickers and stuff. Uh, so yeah, and then we move on to, so because this planner is split in half, it's uh, this one ends in June and the next one starts in July. Because June and July end and begin in the same week this year, this week in the planners is doubled. And I knew I would want to just move into the new one when it came time. So I covered up the weekly that was duplicate and used it as my first few dailies uh, for the year. So this was New Year's Eve and stuff. Uh, really, really like how this looks. It's really cute. Uh, just my usual bullet journal style for daily logs. And then this was the start of January. So this is me kind of working on those. Uh, my main goal for January is routines, like I talked about. So this is me kind of working that out. Uh, and then I started doing just the task part of my daily logs in here and I was doing my more like personal or thoughts in another notebook and I've decided to migrate them all back together which we'll talk about when I get to the other notebook uh, but yeah so there's the second and the third the fourth and the fifth um, a workout challenge and then some of the other things that I can do to move my body if I don't feel like doing this particular one my bookkeeping to do's <laughs> um, and then today's list. So I'm not really, even though I did end up on the six here, I'm not really following the dates. I'm just gonna go through as I go through and that'll be that. So back here, I have this tracker, which is when did I last? Um, and then it's cleaning these particular things. There's, um, and seeing a couple people I'll probably add things to this as we go on, but I mean, there's things on here that definitely only need to be done uh, every few months, like cleaning the fridge or lifting up the stove top and actually cleaning under it. Uh, but then there's other things that, you know, you want to try to stay on top of every week or so. So I just wanted to have that for myself to kind of see how long it's been. And if I'm like, oh God, <laughs> it's been a couple weeks since I scrubbed the, the tub or whatever. Um, I can see that there. And then this here, my little sparkly package tab, um, is my wish list. So this is the My 100 list in the back of the planner and I'm using it as a wish list. I seem to have like the, the buying itch right now so I'm trying to write things down in my uh, wish list rather than actually purchasing them and sometimes that's enough. So. Those are there, um, and I just titled it, it would be nice to have, and added some watercolor. And that's pretty much it. This is uh, gonna be my Happy Mail tracker, which I haven't started yet, uh, but this is my test page. Uh, my password cheat sheet, which I, of course, will not fill in yet until we're done. And then my reward, um, if found. You can also send me mail here, so it's not a big deal that you saw that, but. If you'd like to send me some mail, that's my mailing address. And yeah, that's that's my my little bullet journal for the year. Um, I'm gonna take a breather for a minute before we get into the next like seven <laughs> journals. Uh, so bathroom break, intermission, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now we're gonna move on to 
journals that I started in 2020 that are still going to be happening in 2021 as we go along here. So first, real quick, uh, this is, I have lots of junk at my desk, as you can see. Um, this is my swatch book that I started. You guys know I I start these all the time. Uh, I don't like religiously work in this or anything. I just kind of go in there whenever I feel like it. Um, so yeah, I started doing it bullet journal style and this has been the most successful one I've done yet because that way you don't have to lay out pages and feel like you're going to run out of space for things. If you expand your collection, you just kind of go to the front and look at what you need. Yep. I want to see what fountain pen inks I have. They're on pages 5, 52, and 112, you know? So this is a B6 size Stalgy. I believe this is the 365. So these are just some of the swatches that I have in here. This is definitely not like all of my collection or anything, but I do hope to continue to add to this periodically a uh, washi tape and yeah I try to be good about adding like new supplies when I get them so when I got the Arteza expert pencils I made sure to put all those in there as well as the acrylic markers uh, but I don't really think I've got any like supplies media type supplies since then so yeah, that's that's where that's at and that's going to continue into 2021 with me next we have my overflow journal a lot of you are huge fans of this which I think is awesome so this is a Ranger journal this is the huge one by Diane Ravely uh, it has the pocket in the front it's always so big that I really can't fit the whole thing in frame, no matter how hard I try. Uh, but this is just where I put all of the extra bits that uh, maybe don't make it into my creative journal and they're not really like pertaining to a specific event that I'm trying to document. Sometimes it's extra photos I printed. Sometimes it's things that I want to keep, but I literally like don't know where else to put it. Uh, like these were some door hangers that some super sassy door hangers that I had while I was in college and I w didn't want to throw them away because they were memories but I didn't know where else to put them so they went in here extra photos backgrounds um, just things that inspire me this is by Courtney Diaz Little Raven Inc this is Charity Grace uh, over on Instagram I find her super inspiring she's just like a badass <laughs> but very girly at the same time she does lots of mermaid stuff so that's why that's there this is a Ghoulie pen sticker more Courtney Diaz a magazine image of water so I'm testing out some uh, techniques from a class by James Luke Burke um, so yeah, just lots of random stuff. I build the pages as I go. There's really no rhyme or reason to anything. Uh, they're done when I feel like they're done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to flip through this real quick because I get asked for flip throughs of this uh, and kind of my progress on it all the time. So I'll flip through this for you guys and then we'll move on to the next one.
yeah, this is a journal that I started in 2013 that uh, I started after I took a class with Diane Ravely and then uh, I was really trying to like find myself and like my art uh, bef way before I even started making like YouTube videos <laughs> like this. Oh my god. Uh, and since then I've kept some of the pages that I really love like this page. I liked this page uh, and collaged over ones that I didn't like and then of course there were like this one um, and then of course there were a bunch of blank pages which I'm continuing to work on so this is one of those journals that I will continue to work on until I can't anymore uh, the spine is absolutely destroyed to begin with so I guess I don't really have to worry about um, how much it's going to bulk up and stuff but yeah this will definitely be coming with me into 2021. I say that, but we're already here, you know? <laughs> this here is a project that I started at the end of 2021. This is basically what most people would call a grimoire. Um, it's a reference book for my spirituality and witchy practices. So this is an arc uh, binder system. This I got at Staples. Um, it was my planner, my first planner in college back in 2012, 2013, around the same time uh, that I started the Overflow Journal and I switched it out for some rainbow pastel happy planner rings. Uh, and yeah, this cover has had lots of lives, but now it houses my Grimoire. So this is like ever evolving. I like just started it so there's not a lot in here but I did get asked to show you guys so I wanted to kind of show you what I'm working with so far and how I'm like starting off the year with it. On this side I just have a bunch of things that I want to put in here. Uh, printables from people that I want to put in here. Uh, some information about my astrology. Some tarot cards that I laminated. Uh, affirmations that I got off a of printable some cards from my crystals that I want to put in here at some point so that's what the pockets are I got this paper clip from the honeybee shop uh, which is pretty cool I have a emotional guidance scale this is something that Abraham Hicks uh, talks about kind of raising your vibration and your mood in order to manifest good things so um that's that's there for my reference. I just printed this image off of, I found it on Google somewhere. I got a laminator. So this was kind of like the justification for getting the laminator and I've been loving playing with it. Um, and it just makes everything feel a little more classy. So my first tab here, I have one of my vinyls from my shop. This is my moon stuff section. So this is a section I've been working the most in. I did take a couple different moon manifesting classes during December um, and some of them I'm still working through. I took a free webinar by Jasmine Boland, I believe is her name. Uh, she's the author, author of Moonology um, and Hay House did like a free webinar with her. So I did that. I also did Jenny Belly's um, moon phase journal class type thing which I'm still working through. Uh, but she gave us these moon trackers, so I'm just tracking like different um, things throughout the moon phases. Um, you know, my my womanlyhood and other things, productivity and focus, energy and mood. And then I should I want to start another one for like um, creativity versus like cleaning and organizing uh, to see how that kind of works with with the moon energy so uh, yeah that's working on those this is a bookmark that I made just so that I know where my place is um, I have my moon trackers in front so I can fill them out every day I'm not super happy with how this turned out and it was kind of personal but this was an art journal page uh, that I did from Jenny Belly's class for the full moon ritual and then this was like my notes and going along with her class um, there's definitely things that she didn't do that I added in there, but um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, this was a little moon phase uh, chart thing, just like another art piece from that class. 
Uh, this is some printables that I made. So, manifestation log and then what do I desire. So, these were kind of to um, set your intentions with the new moon and then um, log what you manifested on the full moon. So, let me know if that's something you'd like. These are notes from her class, printables from her class. Yep, Yasmin Boland. Um, the notes from her webinars. And then here I have this. This is a printable that I got from Bybun's Patreon. So I turned this into like just a divider for like my extra pages. So I have extra note pages and extra moon energy trackers in there. The other sections I have in here are astrology, so I really want to kind of start studying that more. So I just have my uh, birth chart and some other like cheat sheets in here that I had floating around in other places when I had started working on trying to learn that last year. I didn't get very far, but that's what that section is. My next section is herbs and such, so I don't have anything in here, but it's going to be my herbs and essential oils and the different things you use them for and so on and so forth. Uh, rituals. This is going to be things like um, spells or routines that I want to set in place. Uh, my moon rituals obviously are separate from that. They're in my moon stuff section. But uh, again, I don't have anything in there. But there's a section for that. And then... This is just another thing that I laminated for decoration. And my last section is my tarot section. So I really want to study um, the tarot and really uh, memorize the cards. I'm terrible at like remembering things. So I really want to hone in on that and do that. And then I don't have a tab for it yet, but um, I'm going to have a tab for all my crystals. And then this is just a... Um, chakra energy crystal set that I was gifted and these are all of like the tags that went with each of the crystals to explain like what they were so I do need to work on that section as well and then these are just tabs dividers that came uh, with the arc system a pocket and then um, these are notes uh, from a class that I got forever ago that I have yet to take. So that's where my grimoire reference book of shadows, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how my reference book is looking thus far. And I'm excited to continue working in it. I'm not going to like work in this on camera or anything. Uh, and I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but uh, I know I have some fellow spiritual peeps uh, in here and they asked me if they could see it. So uh, once I get more in here, I might show you some more, but for now that's, that's kind of that. Moving along that same vein and then we'll get back into the rest of my new planners for 2021. Uh, I'm working with this Witches Spell a Day Almanac. Uh, I will link this down below if you'd like to see it, but uh, basically that's what it is. It's, um, a spell a day but it also has like the moon phase when it's changing um, different signs in astrology which is kind of helping me work in little chunks to expand my knowledge in that uh, it's got different um, uh, charts and cheat sheets in here uh, for reference to kind of help you understand um, the different things they're talking about but yeah, this has been really fun so far. I haven't done many of the rituals, to be honest. I've done, uh, I did this one. I really wanted to do this one. I just have to sit down and find the time. Uh, but yeah, they are, they're pretty cool. I like the idea of them. I like to kind of jump off and make it my own. But this has been fun to work with and um, helps me kind of plan, you know, <laughs> plan my moon rituals, which is one of my goals. So that is my Witch's Spell a Day Almanac. And then last but not least, my friends, we have three uh, planners that I'm taking into 2021 that I did not previously have. So this, I'm going to go over this real quick. Um, I explained more about this in another video, I feel. Uh, but this is my 
finance planner for the year. This is the Legend Budget Book. Uh, I'm not going to flip through it because I, of course, have personal information in there now. But uh, basically, it's a budget book. It has all kinds of spreads in the front for debts and savings uh, and different things like that. And in the back, it has like a gift tracker and like a yearly overview, a regular bill tracker, just all kinds of really useful uh, spreads and then it has this monthly spread so you have like financial goals at the top I use it for things that like need my attention that don't usually happen or things that I may need to do soon like uh, get the oil changed in my Jeep as a monthly calendar so you can see when your bills are uh, income totals saving totals a monthly budget and then it has four sheets for expenses and I use one of them as an income tracker because I have so many different sources of income. My income is a lot different than some other people's who just get like, you know, a set number of paychecks every month. So I like to keep track of that. Uh, and then I have my expense tracker set up into different categories. And then at the end, uh, you have some kind of reflection questions asking you to total up and an extra page to kind of brainstorm things. So that's my budget planner that I'll be using. I used to do all of my budgeting online, but I just, I found it was really hard to compare different months and I didn't have all the trackers and things that I wanted for progress on like savings and debts and things. So I'm really excited to be adding that this year. This year I'm also adding this. This is the Artist of Life workbook. This is a goal book by Lavender. Um, I did put kind of my uh, what is this? <laughs> My vision board for the year that I'm working on. I started it there. Uh, and this is just, uh, it's a quarterly goal planner, a monthly goal planner, and then like a yearly goal planner. There's lots of reflection questions in the beginning. Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this. It's just not how I set goals. I don't know. It just, I have a hard time answering the reflection questions and setting my goals i just want like okay these are these are the health goals that i want for the year and then i want a space to list them all out so i'm still working on setting my goals trying to figure out how i'm going to use this there's a bunch of blank pages in there this is a different um like reflection question thing that i've been carrying around that i've yet to do so i put that in there uh, and maybe I'll get to do that by a different creator, but I don't know. I like the quarterly pages. I've filled those out so far, but I haven't really used much else of it. I've tried to fill out some of the pages in the beginning. So I'll be continuing to work on this as the year goes through and trying to figure out how to use it better for the way that I like to go plan. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And then last but not least, you guys. <laughs> Home stretch. This is my A6 uh, Hobonichi. I got a Moterm cover for it, and I'm I've wanted one of these covers for a really long time, and I'm absolutely in love. And once the black one or the white one comes back in stock in this Croco print for the A5 size, I will be buying one and switching out of the <laughs> weird feeling cover. But anyway. Uh, this was intended to be an extension of my bullet journal, so I thought that I would use my A5 bullet journal for all of my planning necessities, and then I would use kind of the, the date, this for more of the daily logs that were memories or working through ideas and stuff, but I just, I found that I didn't... The daily logs don't function as well if they're not all in the same spot for me. So literally yesterday I decided to scratch doing the daily logs in it and it's just like my extra stuff. So I did a uh, third quarter moon ritual this morning. So I did all of my journaling around that in here. Um, and any other extra things that I would have journaled, uh, personal journaling, anything like that that would have gone in my bullet journal. Uh, it's still going to go in here, just my daily logs are going to be all together in my A5, like they've always been. So, uh, this is my A6 journal. I have this sticker 
Um, I didn't want to commit because I wasn't sure I wanted to cover up this gold here. So I just put some washi tape on the back of this and stuck it here for now. Um, some more stickers. Uh, this is my... <laughs> This is my tab for my day off tracker. The little bunny with the coffee and the sunglasses. So um, I put days to just live instead of days off because there are days where um, I do, I don't work necessarily, but the whole day is um, centered around doing something for somebody else. Like uh, Thursday this week, I have to spend the whole day uh, doing errands, we gotta fill our propane tanks, we gotta grocery shopping, we gotta clean the house, we gotta, so it's not really a day for me to like relax, it's still work, it's just not my, related to my job, if that makes any sense. Um, so days to just live are the days that I take off that are actually for doing fun things. <laughs> so, uh, that's my, my tracker there, and I started it off with a bang, you know, first of the year, word of the year. I did that again on the printable from my uh, New Year's printable, so there's that. I'm going to try to hurry up and do this before my phone dies. Uh, this is a tracker that I'm just trying to changing between different things. That's the yearly overview. This is the monthly format, which I'm using as a dinners tracker, so I started this in... December and moving into January here. This, like the other, I started uh, the dailies kind of in the extra monthly layouts uh, so that I could start this early when I started the other one. Here was my Joe Tarot personal guidance and then I tried to do like a daily kind of log thing and then I decided against that so I wrote a little note just like, hey, I'm switching up things I'm doing. And then all of my third quarter ritual stuff that I wrote today is in here. So I'm basically ignoring the dates and just using it like a notebook. And then in the back here, uh, I have my 100 list, which I'm using to record songs. You know those songs where you just turn it on and you're like, this is my freaking jam. <laughs> That's what I'm going to record on this for the year. Uh, and then I just have, you know, the, if lost, please return to, oh, and I also in here, I started, uh, an accomplishments section. So big accomplishments for the year that I want to celebrate, uh, whether they're big or small, just like things where I'm like, yeah, you did that, um, to kind of help, you know, praise myself some more. And then a tarot spread for the whole year that I did, uh, earlier. So that is all of my journals and planners that I'm using for 2021, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this insanely long video. That's it, you guys. Those are all my planners and journals that I'm using for 2021. I know that was a lot. Uh, thank you for making it to the end with me. If you did, thumbs up. You guys rock. Uh, thank you so much to my patrons for sponsoring today's video and making it possible, literally, since it was filmed for them to begin with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you're using for your journals and planners down in the description box below. Do you think I'm absolutely nuts for using so many? You can definitely tell me that. I'm just now realizing I didn't include my pen pal journal in there, but we're just going to ignore that. The video's over. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.